what's going on everyone? I'm currently putting together the video for our 2019 opening week of fox season here in Pennsylvania. I got a lot of good footage to show you guys. I got a lot of misses to show you guys. Uh, it was an eventful week. We had a blast. We did all right. For, compared to the previous years, we did pretty good this year for our opening week. Uh, we got a, a decent amount of fox down. Uh, had some intercounters with some coyotes, but nothing ever, nothing ever committed. Uh, Could have been us. Awesome. Most of them were after we shot. Uh, but we had we had some pretty good activity, so stick with me and I'll show you what we got. You missed. Woo! You missed him. He still, he ran right. Alright, I'm going to give you a little rundown of how we were set up to film these hunts. So, I'm set up with my gun on a tripod, and on top of my scope on my gun, I have my camcorder mounted on a ball head, and I have my light mounted underneath my gun. Then I have my brother sitting beside me, uh, he was shooting my 17 WSM, he had a big uh, bipod on, on the front of it that raises pretty high so you can sit down and shoot off of it. So my brother was sitting on the ground beside me, and when something would come in, I would just use my, I would use my camera to f my camera and gun setup to film the uh, the fox or whatever it was coming in. So I'd film off my gun and, I, and I'd have my camera perfectly lined up with my light that's on the front of my gun. That's the glory of having the camera mounted on top of the scope. Uh, so it works really well for filming. So as we were filming, we noticed that the first three or four fox, I believe it was, that came in, every single one was shot at it hit high. We just kept missing. I couldn't figure out what was going on. I thought maybe it was my brother's sh It was just because my brother was shooting my gun so I thought maybe it was just because he was shooting so I said hey you film this next one that comes in which you'll see here in a second a gray fox at 40 yards uh, and I shot off my gun and it was a chest on shot and, my, and I actually hit high and just nipped the top of its butt so after that fox I knew something was up so we stopped hunting that night and we went out to the range the next night I recited in uh, my gun was hitting about four inches high and an inch to the left so I mean, it sinks, but it happens. I'm not really sure how it got bumped off, but we got it all taken care of. And we went back, and uh, we started laying the fox down again. So stick with us, and you'll see those too. Shoot him, shoot him. 
Got him. Sure. Yep, I see him. He's laying there. You definitely got him. On the machine you shoot. Oh, he's broadside there. Yep. Got him. So this next fox is probably the coolest video, I, to me I think this is the coolest video we got. If you watch close you can actually see the vapor trail from the bullet fly and you can see the bullet hit the fox. Uh, it was, it's a pretty cool video, so I'll show it to you. So I just wanted to say thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more videos of us hunting predators in Pennsylvania. That's probably our second passion after archery hunting. Uh, so stick around for more videos. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Turn on that bell notification and be ready for more videos. We'll be back shortly.